Hey everyone, it's February 9th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with serial killer Mark Sappington, best known as the Kansas City Vampire, and that is him right up there. Uh, Sappington was born in 1978 and grew up on the north side of Kansas City, Kansas, in an impoverished neighborhood. His mother did her best to raise him on her own, but in a neighborhood riddled with drugs, gangs, and violence, it's a tall order for anyone, let alone a single mother barely keeping her own head above water. She was heavily involved in her church and brought Sappington along with her, where he seemed to have found a second home. While he didn't excel academically, he was thought to be a smart child and people genuinely liked him. By all accounts, he's quite charming and funny. But by the time he was a teenager, the streets got to him and he began experimenting with drugs, starting with marijuana, moving on to danks, which are cigarettes soaked in embalming fluid, and ultimately using PCP straight up. The police brought him home on quite a few occasions when he was on a binge, but he never engaged in crimes against people, just minor infractions that didn't make sense to prosecute. Unfortunately, mental health care was unavailable to someone in Sappington's situation. As such, he was unable to receive treatment for an undiagnosed case of schizophrenia. His drug use only exacerbated the problem, and when, he be and when he began to hear voices at the age of 21, he did even more PCP in an effort to drown them out. He later said that the voices told him that he needed to eat flesh and drink blood or he himself would die. He did just that to the detriment of four residents of Kansas City in March and April of 2001. His first murder seems rather mundane compared to what was to come. It was simply a robbery gone wrong, but afterwards something in him snapped. Savington walked the streets for the next three weeks, talking to the voices in his head, asking, what about him? What about her? When he finally got approval for his next victim, it was an old friend who he took into his basement where he hacked him to pieces with a hunting knife. This left the walls dripping with blood, which he lapped up before dumping the body across the river in Kansas City, Missouri. Three days later, he killed another friend, stabbing the man in his own car, but only making a cursory effort at drinking his blood before fleeing the scene. On the way home from that killing, he spotted a young man who he knew from the church, and he invited the 16-year-old boy to come back to the home he shared with his mother, where he shot the boy in the chest with a shotgun. This time, he crudely dismembered the body and ate part of one leg before disposing of the rest in a trash bag. His mother came home to a terrible scene, and Sappington was quickly picked up by police. He was convicted of murder in 2004, receiving four consecutive life sentences, which he is serving in El Dorado, Kansas. If this was your birthday... Hope you had a great day. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Mark Sappington, I have to say, happy birthday, you bastard.